fussy. Morning, Teg. Daddy, where's Mummy? When I was little, my Mummy went away to look after Grandad. I'm here to look after you and Wooly, said Daddy. Let's get you dressed. Daddy just dumped my clothes on the bed. I like my clothes laid out like a scarecrow, I said. Let's get you dressed. When I got dressed, Daddy got it all wrong. Trousers? Daddy forgot my socks. Went on before my trousers. I got socks on first. I had to get dressed all over again. Arms, rid of those arms. Right, and there's Willie. Come on, let's go through and have some breakfast. Come on, and get your breakfast. At breakfast, Daddy poured my Aussie flakes into a mountain. Daddy, I don't want to add a mountain flat. All right, well you... I like my Aussie flakes poured flat. Right, take your milk. Then Daddy poured milk from the edges instead of the middle. Daddy, no. Well, can you make a hole for it? Daddy gave me the wrong spoon. Daddy, I want my special spoon. Oh, okay. Daddy's rubbish, isn't he? You get stuck in. After breakfast, Daddy wanted to play with my bricks. I didn't like Daddy playing with my bricks. Is that the way you're meant to do it? He got all the colours and shapes the wrong way round. I sat in my little house. After a big bit, Daddy said, Come on, Tig, we're going indoor sledging. Do some indoor sledging? Yeah. Look, I've got your snowsuit and I've got your wellies. Come on then. Daddy had my waterproofs and my Wellington. When we arrived at the sledging, I was hungry. So Daddy took me for some lunch. I didn't like my lunch. My peas were next to my fish and not by my potatoes. I just ate the potatoes. The indoor sledging was inside. Daddy wanted me to put on my waterproofs. We need to get changed. No, I said. I wear my waterproofs outside, God, not inside. We can't go sledging then, said Daddy. Everything was wrong today. Nothing was just how I like it. Hey, Tig, always doing things in exactly the same way makes you feel safe and happy. But no one can know exactly how you like things to be done because everyone is different. Some things are important to one person, but not to another. No need to be fussy. Which sock goes on first or where the peas go on your plate doesn't matter. Putting on your waterproofs inside for a change won't spoil your day. Whee! It'll mean you can go inside sledging! Go for it, Tig! Stop fussing and have fun! Yes, I thought. There's no fun fussing. Daddy, can I put my wet... I like doing things differently today with my daddy. What do we say? Whoa. We had fun inside, indoor sledging in my waterproofs. When a lady saw Willie on my sledge, she nearly fell over. I don't like being fussy. I like having fun with everyone. And I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. Holding hands. When I was little, I liked my nursery school. Different things happened every day. One day, Miss Claire, my nursery teacher, took us all to the gym at the big school. Now we need to make sure we all hold hands at all times. We held hands. I held hands with Louise. Now we're going to cross some roads, said Miss Claire. We had to look and listen for the traffic. 
We held hands and waited for the green man. The traffic stopped. And the green man came on. Hold hands and straight across the road. And keep looking, said Miss Claire. What do we do? When we came to what another road, there was no green man. Take extra care, said Miss Claire. We'll find a safe place where we can see all the roads. When there was no traffic, Miss Claire said it was safe to cross. Hold hands and straight across the road. And keep looking, said Miss Claire. The big school was big. The gym was big too. There was lots of room to play. Claire made an obstacle course. On the way back, we crossed all the roads again. I looked and listened and held hands. I did everything Claire told me. After school, my daddy came to collect me, to take me to the library. Daddy! <gasps> Miss Claire told daddy that I had been very grown up and sensible at crossing the roads. Come on then, so do you have fun? I felt pleased. I felt like a big girl. Get up and take my hand. No. Why not? Because I'm a big girl. Hold my hand, said Daddy. No, I said. Tig. When the green man turned to green, Daddy picked me up and girl. carried me across the road. We came to another road. Right, Tig, we need to cross the road. Take my hand, please. No. Hold my Why hand. I'm a big girl. You Daddy picked me Go up and carried me straight Let's across see. the road. Right. I was not happy. Roads, okay? In Come the on. library, I was cross. Do you want to choose a book, to choose said book. Daddy. No. No, I said and Wait, sat with Willie. I was very up. cross. Hey, Tig, it's not nice being treated like a little girl just when you think you are a big and sensible girl. It's not nice being told what to do when you think you know everything. But just because you know how to cross a road safely doesn't mean that Daddy should let you do it all by yourself. Boom, boom, honk, honk, beep, beep. <coughs> Roads are busy places. Holding Daddy's hand lets him know you're safe. Holding Daddy's hand lets you know he's safe too. Then you can both look. Beep, beep. And listen without any worries. You can cross the road safely together. So go for it, Tig. Be clever and say sorry to Daddy and hold his hand all the way home. Beep, beep. Yes, I thought. I'll be clever. Sorry, Daddy! Oh, and say sorry yeah. to Daddy. On, Daddy and me chose a library book. Oh, yeah. The in. library lady got a shock yeah. when she saw Willie. <gasps> it's only a tight spider. I held Daddy's hand all the way home. I like to be safe. I love Willie. We've been together since we were Timmy's Monsters. When I was little, my friend Timmy came to play. Timmy can draw monsters. I can draw monsters too, but they're not as scary as Timmy's monsters. Timmy can roar like a monster. Roar! <laughs> I can roar like a monster too. <sighs> I like monsters. I like Timmy's monsters. Body monsters, hairy monsters, blue monsters. <laughs> That's scary. And lots of red monsters. <laughs> we had fun stomping and roaring. I think if the monsters were a little quieter, they might have some juice. I love monsters.
When it was time for Timmy to go home, he gave me lots of his monsters. Thank you, Timmy. I love Timmy's monsters. And night, night time. At night time, I put Timmy's monsters under my bed. At night, the monsters roared. Ra, ra, ra. All right. The monsters woke me up. Oh, there are no monsters. They're just pictures, look. Mummy said the monsters were just pictures. No more monsters. <laughs> Mummy took Timmy's monsters away. Will they want to be cuddle? Good girl. And left the light on. I cuddled Willie. The next day, I wanted to play monsters. But Mummy had thrown the monsters in the bin. I asked Mummy for my monsters. Mummy, can I get my monsters? No, Tig, they're too noisy. Please. Mummy said the monsters were too noisy. They're just pictures, I said. Mummy said, OK. But no more roaring tonight in bed. I showed Willie my monsters. I didn't think Willie liked my monsters. No, Tig, I just don't like monsters at night. They wake me up. They wake us all up. Hmm. So, Tig, why don't we make your monsters just daytime monsters? Yeah! <laughs> there. One daytime monster. Now, at night, all the monsters need to go to bed. So we make the monster a nice comfy bed. <laughs> one comfy bed and one monster asleep. Night, night, monster. Sleep well. Night time came and all the monsters were put to bed. Night, night, monsters. Look. Night, night, monsters. There they are, all going to bed, all tucked up, ready to sleep. Mummy was about to sit on the bed when she nearly sat on Wooly. It gave her a surprise. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a toy spider. You're a toy spider. Night, night, Mummy. Night, night, Wooly. That night we all slept happily. I like my daytime monsters. I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were wee. Fire alarm. When I was little, something exciting happened at my nursery school. It was nearly break time. I was helping Miss Claire. Wooly helped too. There was a loud, loud noise. Come on, everyone, it's the fire alarm. Come on. Claire said it was the fire alarm. Come on, everyone, well done. I didn't like the horrid noise. Come on. It hurt my ears. Come along. We all need to leave, said Claire. Good, I thought, away from the nasty noise. Claire made sure we were all safe outside together. Be ba, be ba. A fire engine came round the corner. I liked the fire engine. The firefighters jumped out. They ran into the nursery. The firefighters wore hats. Don't worry, said Claire. The firefighters are just checking to see if there's a fire. Is everything OK? Yeah, nothing to worry about. We'll Firefighter said, no fire, no worries. The firefighters didn't have a fire to put out. They showed us their fire engine. I like the firefighters. That's it. There you go. Wave bye-bye to the firefighters. 
Bye bye, firefighters. There, wasn't that exciting? said Claire. Come on. When we went back inside, everything looked just the same. We had our break. After break, I didn't want a story. I didn't want to hear that nasty noise again. Yeah, let's go. I asked Claire if I could go home. I didn't like the fire alarm. Hey Tig, fire alarms may sound scary, but fire alarms have to be loud so that everyone can hear them. Whee! They make all sorts of funny noises too. Dring! Woo 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 woo! Beep 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 beep! But fire alarms aren't there to worry us, they're there to make us safe. When the fire alarm sounds, it tells us to leave the building because there might be a fire. It also tells us it's working properly. Hooray! But hey, they don't go off that much. Dring! But when they do go off, we all have to leave the nursery together. So nothing to worry about. If the fire alarm sounds, you know what to do. Listen to that, Tig. More funny noises. Someone's playing fire engines. Whee! Go and have fun. Yes, I thought. Nothing to worry about. I want to play fire engines too. Beba, beba. <laughs> you ran about bee fire engines. Beba, beba. My fire engine was going so fast that Wooly flew off in the air. And on your toy spider. I don't mind fire alarms. I like fire engines. I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were here. Hola! When I was little, I went on a holiday, a long, long way away. Don't forget Willie. Willie came too. When we arrived at the holiday, it was in a hotel. I was asleep. In the morning, I woke up. We were in a big room with stripy bits of sun. Mummy, where are we? We're on holiday, Tig, in Spain. Tig, come and see this. Help me open the shutters, said Daddy. Outside was our very own little balcony. Tig. Through the trees, I could see the sea. At breakfast time, we went onto the hotel roof. That's funny, I thought, having breakfast on the roof. Everything was different on holiday. After breakfast on the roof, we heard some shouting. Daddy said, hey Tig, come and look at this. Tig, come and see this. We looked round the corner and there was a swimming pool. That's funny, I thought. A swimming pool on the roof. <laughs> Mummy put sun cream on me and a big sun hat. Right, ready? Okay. Then we went out to explore. Everything was blue, and green, and white, and beautiful. Nothing was quite the same. Mummy liked the shops. At one shop they sold dresses. They were pretty dresses, but they looked different. Hola, son vestidos muy bonitos. Would you like one? said Mummy. Sure. I wasn't sure. Okay. Everything was all a bit strange. Come back later. Daddy found some ice cream. Egg, have you ever seen ice cream like this before? The ice cream was all different colours. Flavours. And piled up into mountains. We went to look at the sea. The sea was so big and blue. Way down below was a beach. There were fishing boats and straw umbrellas. So we go in the telescope? Yeah. We look through a telescope. Can you see anything? We could see fishermen and their fishing nets. 
Maybe we can go down on the beach for a swim soon, said Daddy. I wasn't sure. Everything was so different. Everything was so hot. Hey, Tig, when you go on holiday and visit new places, nothing is ever quite the same. There are so many little differences. But that's what makes a holiday all the more fun. La 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 I go to new places, there's lots of new faces On my holidays The change is amazing, the sun can be blazing On my holidays I can't stop my smiling, I find it exciting On my holidays La 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 And new treats and new meals that you eat On your holidays The view's ever-changing The palm trees are waving On your holidays New sounds and new smells And the ringing of bells tingling On your holidays You love all your holidays So different from every day On your holidays La 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 Yes, I thought. Everything is different. But this is my holiday. Daddy, can I get an ice cream? Yes, come on then. It's fun. Here we go. Hola, ¿quieres uno? The lady in the ice cream shop said, Hello. I like the lady. My ice cream was different. Mmm. But my ice cream was the best. We went for a swim on the road. There were other children swimming too. The children said, hello. Hola. I like the other children. In the town, Mummy bought me the pretty dress. I liked everything different. Maybe you can look at some I liked nice. the lady at the shop. Gracias. But I didn't Gracias. understand Gracias. what she said. Adios. We went down to the beach. There were other children on the beach. Hello. The children said hello. When we had lunch, it was cooked on the beach. Paella, said Daddy. My favourite. There were lots of flames and bubbling. While we waited for the paella to cook, I played on the climbing frame. Hola. There were some other children. They said, hello. I like the other children. When we ate the paella, it was so good. It had prawns and chicken and rice. Mm. The climbing frame children were sitting at a table next to me. They waved and said, hello. I wanted to say hello too, but I didn't know how. Hey Tig, we're on holiday in Spain. Everyone here speaks in a different way to us. That's no worry. We can speak like them too. We can speak Spanish. See? See. What does everyone say to you? Hello. Hello. Hola. Hola. You understand. Hola is hello. Now you can say hola too. Hola. Yeah. La 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 la. Yeah. See, I 
thought, I can have even more holiday fun. I can talk to everyone. Hola. Hola, I said to my friends. Hola, my friend said to me. After lunch, I played on the beach with my friends. We talked lots. Siesta time, said Mummy. Siesta time. And um, adios. Adios. Goodbye, I waved to my friends. It was so hot. We had to sleep after our lunch. It's great. Two days for one in Spain? Two days for one, said Daddy. Everything was so different. That night, I wore my pretty new dress. Children were dancing. Hola. Hola, said my friends. Hola. There was so much dancing, and laughing, and clapping. Hola. When a man saw Wooly, he stamped his feet right. It's only a toy spider. I liked my holiday. I liked everything being different. And I love Wooly. I love Wooly and Wooly loves me. We've been together since we were wee. He's my